Hey guys, how's it going? VR lads, you're back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to install custom songs onto Pistol Whip in 2020. Now for those who've seen my previous video I did about 9-10 months ago, not much has actually changed and this way is still the only way that you can do it and the only way you have been able to do it. So if you've seen my previous video and you've already done it, you ain't going to learn much from this. However, if you're new to this, stick around. So the how this works is pretty much it replaces a song that already exists and it overwrites the audio within that particular level. So we're going to start from the first step, which is to download a program called WYs. Now you can get that from the description. All you need to do is follow the link and click on this. Now this is the launcher. This will download the program and it will also launch it for you with whatever project you choose. And um, you may have to set up a, a account in order to download this. But like I said, do that. That's the first thing you want to do. Once that is done, it might be a good idea to start to work out what song you want. Okay, and it has to be a WAV file. It cannot be any other file. Okay, and which song you want to replace. Now, what I would recommend is going online and having a look for a song that matches the beats per minute. Okay, and replacing a song that has a very similar beat per minute. You could also uh, do what I do, which is use a program called Audacity. And you can slightly, you can adjust the song and make it a little bit longer, make it a bit shorter, make it match up with the beats per minute of a song, okay? So that's obviously a little bit of an advanced technique. But I'm just gonna cover the basics, guys. So what you first wanna do is you wanna have your wave file ready and then you wanna launch WYs. So you need to go over to WYs there and launch WYs. So I, I'm not going to pick anything special. I'm going to pick a song that doesn't have any copyright attached to a song, which I like very much, which is Canon in D major. If you haven't heard it, you are absolutely missing out. Like I said, it's got no copyright as well. So we're going to click a new project okay we're gonna call it whatever so I'm just gonna call it Canon and then we're gonna select none here so we don't need any of those at the moment so click OK that is going to create a new project just gonna ignore that for now I'm just gonna pause this so what we're gonna do then is import a project or import the WAV file so that we can start to work on that I've saved it on the desktop. I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna click import and I'm gonna bring that in. Now yours might not look like this when you start that up. So what I did, I went to Windows, uh, Layouts, and Schematic View, or that's what it's called, the Schematic View. So, or you can press F9 on your keyboard and this will bring up this thing here. Do so you wanna click plus sign? And then where you see this, the name of the file, you want to right click and click edit. Then it's going to bring it over to the conversion. So you want to, you're going to want to click edit again. Now, this is your output um, track, okay? You want to scroll across, you want to go to format, and you want to click ball bit, okay? okay? When that's done, you want to go to the right here, you want to click convert. and just click OK. So all we do now is just waiting for that to convert, which it looks like it has. Yep, it has. We're going to go to our files now. We're going to go to our documents. We're going to go to our WYS project. And that's what I did earlier as a practice. And then you want to go Canon windows sfx i know it's uh, quite a lot and then you'll see canon in d major dot wem so the wem files is what pistol whip uses uh, in the game so what i would do is i'd move that to a kind of safe position so i'm going to move that quickly to the desktop just so i know where that is
Right, so next up, what we're going to want to do is we want to go to our pistol whip files. Now, my pistol whip, everyone's pistol whip folder should be, it might be in some way different. Mine is in Q, which is in new folder. For some reason, I've got it all set up odd, but uh, software. And then we can type in pistol whip. So that's in your Oculus, if you've got an Oculus, okay? And obviously your Steam, if you have that on Steam. So you wanna click on Cloudhead Games Limited Pistol Whip. Pistol Whip Data. You wanna to go to Streaming Assets. Audio. Generated Sound Banks. Windows. So now you get all these, all these files, okay? So you get quite a lot of these now. These are the tracks that they use in Pistol Whip. Now, if you see these, these are ones I've done before. So these are ones I've changed before. Right, so we'll get into that now. First, what you want to do is scroll to the bottom and you want to go to global.text. When you scroll down right to the bottom, you'll see these. Now, what these numbers correspond to, if you have a look, okay, is they match up perfectly to the numbers here. So that would basically tell you what song it is. So that's the tutorial. Um, 18896530 is the Brave. That's I switched that in a previous video. So that's old. That's under an old. So I know which one the old file is. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace our file which we made with a file of theirs. Okay. So I'm going to name. I'm going, to re I'm going to redo one I've not done before just to show you. So let's just say 455-813818. 455-813818 is letting go. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm just going to rename that as old. I'm then going to go back to my file. I'm going to copy this number. And I'm going to rename that. See notes are when files there. I'm going to rename that. That. Okay. So I pasted the same number in there. All that's left for me to do now is to place this back in this folder. So there we have it. So now when Pistol Whip does this thing and we load up our letting go, we should play Canon in D major instead of the actual track. And that's pretty much it guys. You can do that with any track um, in the game. Unfortunately at the moment, there is not a way to have completely custom songs. I have spoke to some of the guys who are working on it and they have been working on it very long time then they work on it very hard as well okay so be patient okay let's try this out though and let's see how it goes right guys so as you can see we are in pistol whip Back. let's have a quick call Glorious. Boom. I just. No, it doesn't go well, but I mean, obviously, you know, this is just what I've selected for this video. So, guys, that's it for today's video. If this has been helpful, hit that notification bell and hit the bell button as well so you know when I upload a video. Thank you for watching, I'm VR Lad, I'll see you soon, peace.